She's had great success with her Bones book and television series, and now she's releasing novels for scientifically minded teens. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with author Kathy Reichs about her series, Virals. Virals is a forensic thriller for young adults. Um, it's very similar to my Temperance Brennan books, except that the main characters are younger. The main character is Tori Brennan, who is Temperance Brennan's great niece. She's 14 years old. She lives in Charleston, South Carolina, in a rather remote, isolated area on this island. So the only other teenagers out there are boys. So her three best friends are Ben and Shelton and High. And the three of them form a very tight bond because of that. Also because in the first book, they undergo this unusual experience. They rescue a puppy. They don't know the puppy's been the subject of illegal parvovirus experimentation. So the parvovirus has been altered, so they catch it. But they survive, as does the puppy. And, but they notice then that they are changed. Their senses are like those of a dog or a wolf. They have hearing beyond the capability of the human ear. They can smell emotions, fear or deception. They can see incredibly well. So they use these sort of superpowers, sensory powers, along with science, because they're science geeks, to solve mysteries and cold cases. What made you enter the young adult market? I find that at my readings and signings, a lot of young adults are reading the Temperance Brennan books and a lot of them are watching our, the TV show Bones. So I thought young readers might like a book in which the main characters are teenagers themselves. How does this series differ from the Bones series? It's very similar to the Bones series in that the, the plot is quite complicated. There are twists in there and hopefully some shockers in there, some surprises. And there's science. Science drives the solution. Uh, it's different in that these kids do have these, these special abilities. Uh, it also, the dialogue of course is different, uh, 14, 15 year olds don't talk the same way that, that uh, old crusty homicide detectives talk, and also some of the social concerns are different. The things that concern high schoolers, teenagers are not the same things that concern 40 and 50 year olds. Now, toning down the science is probably something that you have to contend with. Tell us about how you deal with that in this series. You have to keep it short because nobody wants to read a textbook, but I think readers like to learn a little something, and people are these days fascinated with forensic science. And you have to keep it jargon free. You can't use all this special terminology that we use to each other as experts. And you have to keep it entertaining. So I think that's the, the combination really that works. And what's next for you in terms of your writing? Well, I'm well along in the 14th Temperance Brennan book, which will be called Flash and Bones, and it's going to take Tempe into the world of NASCAR. And we're well along the way in completing Seizure, which is the next Tory Brennan novel. And those should both be out in summer or early fall of 2011. Thank you very much. Thank you.